Hi, this is Tim. And this is Wendell, and today we are doing the Make the Most. And for today's, we will need some aluminum foil, some wire, some copper wire, and really this can be any copper wire. We'll need a skewer and some string, some batteries, some magnets. magnets. I can't see them. Magnets. Magnets. And lots of magnets. We love magnets. Three types of magnets. Yes. And some delicious nice. snacks. Preferably apples, maybe pears. Not sure. <laughs> but for our first experiment, we're actually going to take a roll of aluminum foil and play with it. And so Amber doesn't get mad at us. We're going to reuse the roll that we've been using a lot. And we also have an empty roll of aluminum foil. How's it look through there? Good. Yeah. So they are just plain aluminum foil rolls. And one of them has aluminum foil, the other doesn't. And what's really neat is if you drop the roll or drop the magnets through a regular roll, it falls really fast. <laughs> but if we drop it through one with aluminum, it slowed down a whole lot. You want to do that again for him? Yes. So let's just count that. Here, give me a countdown on this one. One. <laughs> one. Like, <laughs> almost. Um, yeah, we almost got to one. Yes, we okay, almost got to one. Okay, let's do a countdown on this one. Okay. One, two. So the magnet slows down as the electrons interact with the aluminum. And that's all the explanation we're going to give in this video. Because this is really just about some fun projects that you can do. So next, we are actually going to make a homemade motor. Wendell, can you take that magnet apart for me? Yes, I will. And for this, you're going to need to use a AA battery. And we're going to need some copper wire. And then you're just going to need some imagination to make some shapes with. But we're going to start by making a heart. Wendell, where's my magnet? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get undone. <laughs> oh, yes, these are strong, strong magnets, but really any magnet. Like pull a magnet off your refrigerator. Or even these. Yeah, they will work fine, but we love playing with magnets. But and, not these. Oh, these are too big. I hope I can get this part. I may need your help. Don't we just need one? Oh, no, I thought you wanted your own. Oh, right. That's. Oh, you almost had it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Once you have your magnets apart, make sure they don't get somewhere they can get back together. But so on top of our magnet, which one we have this for, hopefully if we're really balanced in the end, we'll give you a close up. Mm -hmm. But we just want to stick the flat side of the magnet onto our battery. Very good. And then we're going to take some copper wire. And like I said, this can be wire out of an old appliance or some art wire. Mainly it needs to be uncoated like you would get out of a typical piece of wire. Yep. And then we're going to fold it in half. And then you want to crease the other end of it. And then we're going to take some pliers and really crease the end really good. So we have a sharp point on the end. You guys want me to get yours? Or you want to do it? You got I'm it? Do it. Uh. Was that good? Outstanding job. Okay. Okay, now we're going to make a half a heart with the two pieces of wire. Now, if you're if you have a finger the size of mine, you probably want to use your index finger. If you have a finger the size of Wendell's, you probably want to use your thumb. But we're going to wrap the wire. We're going to grab it like this. And we're just going to fold the wire around our finger to make half of a heart. And then we can kind of pretty it up. Make nah. a really nice heart out of it. <laughs> Can you help me out there with it? What was your thought? 
My thumb's right here. <laughs> <laughs> we just wrap it around it. Okay, now let's let's just form it. So you, you know that's the cool part about copper is really you can form it any way you want. So when you're happy with your heart, let me know. Okay. I think I think I'm pretty happy with my heart now. And so now we're going to grab the two pieces of wire where we folded it and we're going to bring them apart. So now we have a full heart. Hopefully, yeah, the camera's grabbing that. We have a nice, pretty full heart. If I can get my heart out. Awesome. Now, very nice. It's a very pretty heart. <laughs> so now we're going to put our magnet on it. We want to lay it right on the top of it and figure out our length. We just want them just a little bit shorter than our magnet. And we'll cut that. There. Uh, you want me to help you there? Yes. And so just lay it on top and just eyeball. Because we can always trim it again. Mm -hmm. We just want to cut it up where we're close. Doesn't have to be perfect. No, it does not. And now we want to take our heart and just widen it up enough that it's a little narrower than our magnet at the bottom. Something like that. Wendell's got hers ready. Yeah, it's trying. I think yours is a little wide. Of course. Oop, and mine's a little too long, so I'm going to trim a little more off of mine. How do you? How did you get yours to get? You just bend them back together a little bit. I don't know how to do that. And when you have it, and Ugh. can you get it? No, I can't. I think you got it. Yeah, I think yours looks good. It's crawling on me. Got a, bug, got a spider. Scoot on out, Scotter. Let's see. Here's a still a little long too. All right, now the question, can I get this stood up? And get it where you can see it really good. And there you go. We have our nice homopolar magnet motors. I think that's what they're called, but this is a really fun, easy to do experiment. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be heart shaped. No. No, we can make them. You want to make a, what do you think? Let's make a diamond. You want to try yeah. a diamond? Let's make okay. a diamond. Okay, so we will grab a couple more pieces of wire. Okay. And the big thing I would say is it's easier if you fold it in half first. Well, especially if you're clunky like me and not very artistic, that way you get nice symmetry. Because yeah, we can bend it however we want while they're folded together, and then we can unfold them. So let's see, a diamond is a little shorter on the top, right? Yes. So I'm gonna make a sharp bend the top because you do need that pivot point, and then. Well, what do you think? Is that pretty good? Yes. Okay. And yeah. So I'll take my heart off now. Can you help me? Mm hmm. There you go. Thank you. And then, I think mine's close, so I'm going to fold it back out. And okay, that's kind of close to a diamond shape. It might be a really that hard. I don't know what you would call it exactly. But we're close, and I think it'll work. Uh, I'm doing mine by myself. <laughs> Okay, you got yours ready? I think so. I don't so know. So let's put a little bend. Remember, we gotta have that little bend at the top. Oh of yeah, it. that's right. Yeah, but yours is looking very diamondy.
Okay, and up. I think mine's a little too little. It looks great. And so there we have our two diamonds rotating. Make any type of thing to them. Okay, and then we have one final one. Or I think it's the final one. Yes. Let's see, we'll use the tripod. Can that work? I think that'll work. Yep. And what we're going to do is we have, well, I say a skewer. We actually broke a paintbrush, the <laughs> end of a paintbrush, because we couldn't find a skewer. Nope. But we're going to push one apple in, and then the other one. And we are going to wrap it around. Let's see, to tie knot out. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want it to fall. Well, we also have to get that string in place. Okay, I think I can. Alright. Well, you twisted right? it and it okay. locked in. Alright. I think we're ready. And so, well, let's let the string unravel. Spin that around a little more. I think that's close. Let's be still. Stillness. Quietness. Yes. There it goes. And then if we take our magnet towards one side, see it goes away. Now let's put our magnet on this side. Oops. Well, nope. I bumped it. Mm. Okay, let's let it get still again. Oops, I got it backwards apparently. I think our string is still unraveling. Well, <gasps> our string is still unraveling and we are right at the end of our 15 minute mark. I know. Well, what should we do? I don't know. Yeah. We'll just have a snack. So I hope you've enjoyed this making the most episode. It's a good apple. Mm -hmm. So please share this video using the hashtag make the most. The Making Foundation is doing some outstanding things over there. And if you like this, maybe they'll let us do it again. Thanks. Bye.